Hey, I'm Judah Armour. I'm 21 and I'll be directing the lottery at Arts View Children's Studio. Well, welcome, Judah. Tell us, um, tell us about when you started Arts View and how Arts View has impacted your life. I started Arts View, I think, about whenever I was 12. Uh, I just mostly did crew and background stuff, and then I got involved here and there in acting. And Arts View has really helped impact my life by giving me an opportunity to open up to people and has given me a lot of chances to hone in skills that I never knew I had. And I think all in all, it, it's made me just become a better person. I'd have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, tell me about the lottery, our upcoming show. And what's the story about? Where is it set? The lottery is a show set in an alternate universe of our own. It's not really any specific time or period, so to say. Uh, but it is familiar to our own world, and but not exactly in this world. The lottery is about this small town in somewhere in the south that is participating in their yearly traditional event called the lottery, which is kind of like a ritualistic sacrificial thing. Everyone in the town comes together and meets up and draws out of a box that has pieces of paper in it and one of the papers has a black dot on it. The black dot signifies who is the one that should be sacrificed for the lottery. And in doing that, it helps, in their minds, helps the crops grow and makes everything get ready for, for corn season. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good synopsis of the whole <laughs> show. Um, who's your favorite character in the lottery? My favorite character would probably have to be a tie between Joe Summers and Belva Summers, the two siblings of the play. They're uh, an older gentleman and an older lady. And why I like Joe Summers is he represents sort of the town leader. Uh, he's the one who organizes the lottery and gets everybody together and organizes the papers and everything. And his thoughts and feelings towards the lottery are kind of ambiguous. Uh, he's it feels like he's kind of on the fence about the whole thing, but finds it as a necessary evil. And I like that he isn't he isn't just a one-dimensional character. Whenever he has a scene with his his sister, he goes kind of more into into his thoughts and his feelings about the whole thing. And Belva, I like her because she is represented as an outcast of the town, and she's represented as a sort of nobody because of her beliefs of the lottery and how she finds it as an evil and should be abolished completely and because of because of her thoughts and and her beliefs she is shunned from the town essentially and she's kind of mocked at but the reason why i like her so much is because she holds strong to her principles what do you hope audiences take away from the show i hope audiences take away I hope audiences discover in their own lives what kind of traditions or beliefs they're holding on to that are harmful to themselves and harmful to their surroundings. I want them to take away what am I doing in my own life that I could change that is something that I'm holding on to based off of something that I was taught to believe and may not be true. Very good. Um, so, aside from the lottery, what other future endeavors do you have in 2018? Well, this summer I'll be working as the technical coordinator for Arts U and, and uh, I'll be looking really forward to that. Uh, for the future, I'll be wrapping up college, hopefully pretty soon, and be getting my, uh, be getting my advanced technical design degree. And then from there on out, I'm just going to be working repertory, try to get jobs at different theaters, see what I can do. 